hello welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make sardine bread soft delicious sardine bread perfect for breakfast or even brunch first you would need warm milk this is what we're going to use in activating our yeast and then you would need some sugar some salt some yeast dry active yeast whisk this together to combine and we're going to leave this to proof so that the yeast gets activated before we add our flour this is a very important step in making bread any kind of bread that you are making once you have mixed this together set it aside and once it has proofed for five minutes as you can see here whisk and add in melted butter Mix to combine that as well add in one egg mix to combine more sugar mix until you get everything properly combined make sure you mix properly so your sugar is dissolved into your yeast and butter mix now we're going to add in our flour every ingredient and their measurements will be in the description box so do well to check that out so you know every measurement that you would give your ingredients mix in the flour till you get a soft dough it shouldn't be sticky and it shouldn't be too hard as well continue to add flour until you get a soft dough as you can see here my dough is ready and I am just going to be kneading it by hand to make sure that it is smooth adding some more flour into your dough if it is too sticky you want it soft but not sticky at all and then mix that flour into it transfer to a smooth flat surface as you can see me doing here and knead for about five minutes until your dough is well formed and smooth continue to knead by hand this is like arm exercise for me guys i really like it but if you can do this be sure to ask someone to do this for you or if you have a stand mixer you can use that to knead it for at least five to six minutes till your dough is smooth and properly mixed together as you can see here my dough is ready i'm going to transfer this into an oiled bowl and cover for another one hour to rise or at least double in size you can leave your dough for 30 minutes or one hour depending on how warm the place you're leaving it is so I'm going to be leaving this dough for at least one hour or 45 minutes for it to double in size I'm covering the dough with a plastic wrap because it helps to seal in the heat nothing comes out and the heat stays inside it after one hour your dough must have doubled in size like you can see mine here punch out the excess air and bring the dough onto a flat surface cut this dough into two because it will be too big for one bread we're going to make two loaves out of this actually so you cut into two and then knead one half of the dough like you can see me doing here knead and then press it out to be like you're forming a rectangle it's not really going to be a proper rectangle but just spread it out as much as you can once you've done that and you've spread it out like you can see me doing here with my hand go ahead and add in your sardine i'm using one canned sardine guys go ahead and add in your sardines make sure you drain the oil out of the sardines 
and this we're going to fold into our dough fold with your hand like you're like you're rolling it together basically make sure the sardines fold into the dough properly there you go and we're going to leave this make sure you nip the edges so that everything stays inside the dough and we're going to leave this to rise for at least another 30 minutes like you can see here it has risen and it's in the pan now I'm going to put this into the oven but before I do that I will drizzle on top of the bread some sardine and butter mix together drizzle this on top of your bread either before you put it in the oven or while it's baking for maybe like 10 minutes or 20 minutes you bring it out and then you spread this butter and sardine all over it and bake for another 20 minutes till your bread is brown like you can see here and guys that is your sanding bread easy delicious and so so good if you watched up to this point please subscribe